Rasiksat is a Malaysian Earth observation satellite carrying a high-resolution camera. It was launched into low Earth orbit on 14 July 2009. It was placed into a near-equatorial orbit that presents many imaging opportunities for the equatorial region. It weighs over three times as much as TIUNGSAT-1 and carries a high-resolution Earth observation camera. Developed in conjunction with Satrek Initiative, the satellite's low inclination orbit 9 degrees brought it over Malaysia a dozen or more times per day. This was intended to provide greatly increased coverage of Malaysia, compared to most other Earth observation satellites. An audit report released in October 2011 revealed that the satellite had failed after only one year of operation. Raziksat was the first satellite to be put in orbit by a completely developed private liquid fueled rocket, SpaceX's Falcon 1. Background This satellite is Malaysia's second remote sensing satellite after TIUNGSAT-1. Originally called MACSAT, Raziksat's payload is mainly electro-optical, carrying a medium-sized aperture camera Mac, which is a pushbroom camera with five linear detectors, one panchromatic, four multispectral, weighing approximately 50 kg. The entire satellite weighs at about 180 kg. Topic Launch SpaceX launched Raziksat at 3:35 coordinated universal time on the 14th of July 2009 using a Falcon 1 rocket. This was the fifth flight of a Falcon 1 and like the previous flights lift off was from Omlik Island in the Kwajalein Atoll. At 5:25 coordinated universal time, Elon Musk, founder and CEO of SpaceX, told a reporter the launch had been a success. We nailed the orbit to well within target parameters. Pretty much a bullseye, Musk said. Topic operations Raziksat's mission plan was carried out by engineers from ATSB, this was especially important because Malaysia is usually covered by the equatorial cloud bands. Normal sun-synchronous optical satellites, which may revisit an area only once every seven days, will almost never be able to see the ground during their pass. As a result, much optical satellite imagery of Malaysia have more than 50% cloud cover within the image's footprint. Raziksat, on the other hand, revisited some parts of Malaysian territory every 90 minutes, potentially maximizing its ability to exploit gaps in the clouds. Raziksat, equipped with a high resolution medium sized aperture camera, Mac, achieved the intended near equatorial low Earth orbit at 685 km altitude and a 9 degree inclination. It was expected to provide high-resolution images of Malaysia that can be applied to land management, resource development and forestry, be that as it may, the Nikyo orbit does have three distinct disadvantages. Analysis through the commercially available Satellite Toolkit STK software had shown that the orbit revisit over Malaysia was found to have a maximum peak of 2 to 4 overpasses per day during daylight hours from 8 a.m. to 6:30 p.m. to a period of 6 consecutive days without any usable daylight overpasses. The second disadvantage is that most imagery acquired through the Nikyo orbit are not usable through a remote sensing perspective as the Nikyo orbit is not a sun-synchronous orbit, a vital criterion for monitoring and analysis work. 
Thirdly, it was found that the Nikyo orbit exposes the satellite to the South Atlantic Anomaly phenomenon on every orbit it takes around the Earth, unlike the polar orbit, near polar or Sun synchronous orbits, thereby further increasing the risk of radiation damage to the satellite. Although it was originally intended as a research and development project, but it was later announced for commercial purposes in 2009. The aim of the RASICSAT project was asserted as a research and development R&D project in 2010. During its operations after its launch in 2009, it was discovered that the RASICSAT satellite could not achieve its targeted pointing accuracy of within 1 km of its intended target. The Malaysian English newspaper The Star, quoting from the Malaysian Government Auditor General's Report 2010, reported that the images that were acquired by the Raziksat satellite was found to be 37 km off their intended target. As a result of the pointing error, all of the over 1,328 images acquired by the satellite were rendered unusable. Despite a promise of delivering MAC images by 2010, as of the end of 2011, the operators have not released any images. Efforts to fix the problems with the satellite were terminated in December 2010. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. The major specification of RASICSAT, as provided by the satellite's builder and operator ATSB, in February 2010, are <laughs> Satellite bus The satellite bus used for RASICSAT was jointly developed by ATSB and Satrek Initiative, a commercial satellite manufacturer in Korea. Satrek Initiative markets the bus system as the SI-200. See also DUBAISAT-1